Hey, hey, how's everyone doing today? This is the podcast by Mata. I'm your host, Joe Mata. Hey, man, today we have a fabulous, fabulous entrepreneurship show uh, today. Our guest is entrepreneur. He has uh, quite a few nonprofits. He's an author. Please welcome to the show, Joey Giggles. How are you doing, Joey? Hey, how you doing, Joe? Thank you for having me on. Appreciate it. Oh, man, glad to have you on. Glad to have you on. Hey, can you give a, a little uh, little background about yourself uh, to the listeners um, and the fans? Sure, yeah. I'm in uh, New York. Uh, and back in 2008, I unfortunately contracted a chronic pain disorder uh, in which, you know, disabled me for a good two years. And then I basically had my enlightenment, uh, you know, where I meditated, I, I found my, my talent. And I have to say that I found a lot of different talents and I'm going to, you know, talk about a lot of those today. Uh, you know, and, and through that meditation, you actually could actually learn a lot about yourself. And, and I learned a lot about myself. Um, and um, I, I decided that, you know, in 2011, I was going to start a radio show. So now we're six years running uh, and we have a wonderful, wonderful base of people that listen to our show uh, right there on Spreaker.com. And, uh, you know, it's WIRN Internet Radio, which we're now rebranding. We're now rebranding the show. And uh, once we rebrand it, we're going to put it out Um but we also have a nice website coming out as well for, right. for the uh, for the for the radio show. But also, I created a nonprofit uh, which helps chronic pain patients. Uh, also, I created a business, a podcasting business, to teach um, upstart podcasters how to podcast. Uh, also, <laughs> I wrote three books. Yes, I wrote three books. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, and I'm an inspirational writer, uh, as well as a history writer. I, I wrote one history book and two inspirational stories about my chronic pain journey. Uh, and I also am a motivational speaker. So I'm, I'm a jack of all trades there, Joe. Okay. Jack of all trades. Yeah, yeah. I definitely are. I've seen, uh, I've seen quite a few of your, your, your shows, you know, through the, the Periscope app. And uh, definitely some good stuff there. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. No problem. Now, um, can we get talk a little more about uh, your nonprofit and if people want to help to donate, you know, or, or just a little more about it? Yeah, sure. Uh, basically, uh, JGF Foundation Incorporated was created through my mission to help chronic pain patients, you know, get through their journeys, uh, also help uh, people from committing suicide, which we actually uh, saved about over two uh, over 200 lives which was awesome you know in in our suicide groups uh, we also have a mental division which we uh, handle uh, mental disorders like um, uh, we also handle like depression uh, anxiety uh, panic attack anxiety attack nightmares you know various things like that you know and we, we have professionals helping out like I said we are revamping and, and remolding that specific area right now but um, we saved over about 200 people's lives in there uh, and, and we were uh, you know really excited to to know that we actually saved people's lives you know also you know I, I've been dealing with the chronic pain community now for nine years, since 2008, since I got my chronic pain. I've been helping chronic pain patients get through their journeys. Um, I've acted like a coach to them, an advocate uh, for them. And, you know, we've put together a lot of advocacy projects. Uh, and one big grassroots movement that I, I just started uh, was to get the opiates back you know, for the chronic pain patients and the chronic pain community, because, you know, yes, they are a hindrance on the street, you know, but no, you know, there's so many chronic pain patients that actually need the opiates to live. Right. So, so when it comes down to it, it's so important to know that we are going to fight for this. We are fighting for this. And, um, you know, my organization is out there for chronic pain patients, for the caregivers as well. We have a caregiver area for people who, you know, deal with chronic pain patients but are not actually 
chronic pain patients. So we have a caregiver area as well, you know, to deal with the other side, you know, of, of the journey, because obviously the, the caregiver and the patient, you know, sometimes go through this thing together. So, you know, at that point, mental and physical come together, caregiver and patient come together, and we all put that and encompass that into one organization in which we, uh, you know, tries to uh, try to raise awareness and also create advocacy. Right. Yeah. And, and with, with dealing with, with the chronic pain, um, do you um, suggest that they use maybe look at cannabis as well or, or no? Well, yeah, actually, I'm a, I'm a proponent. I'm a proponent of MMJ actually, which is medical marijuana, because it comes in different strains, uh, you know, and when it comes down to it, you truly need to know the type of strain that you need for the type of ailment that you have, you know, and in a lot of cases, just straight up cannabis, you know, doesn't hit where MMJ actually does hit that particular spot you know, of, of the body or, or, or of the brain that you actually need help with, you know, and, and that's why I'm a proponent more of the MMJ because the doctor knows, you know, what type of strain, you know, that you need of, of the, uh, of the marijuana to actually help you and aid you, you know, through the process of trying to get better. But I've known plenty of people that said cannabis work for them. I know plenty of people that said MMJ worked for them. So, you know, when it comes down to it, if it works for a chronic pain patient, I'm all happy with that. You right. know, I'm all happy if it helps a chronic pain patient. And, you know, like like I always say, uh, everybody has a different chemistry. Everybody is different, but everybody deals with the same pain. So. Right, right. Now, um, let's, let's talk a little bit about um, the Periscope app and how you found it and – Basically, what do you use it for if people don't know exactly what this Periscope app is? Sure, yeah. Uh, Periscope is an awesome app for all entrepreneurs. I, I suggest jump on there and tell your story. Jump on there and show your talent. There are so many talented people on Periscope, you know, and there's also many talented speakers. Uh, there's podcasts like me and Joe, you know, do scopes. You know, and, and there's so many different things uh, that you could do on Periscope, you know, uh, plus build an awesome base of people. You know, I've been on there for two years. I've actually grown with the app. Uh, I'm a silver star. Uh, you know, I'm proud to be a silver star. You know, I, I was, uh, you know, fighting for that silver star and I finally got it. Right. You know, and, and, and when it comes down to it, you know, it, it shows how people actually love you, how your base loves you, if, uh, you know, as you, as you gain stardom, you know, on this app and you could actually, you know, become a pretty big, uh, internet celebrity on, on Periscope, you know, right. what do I use it for? I use it for my podcasts. Uh, I do live podcasts live on, uh, Periscope. I also, uh, do the political power hour. I also do uh, 10 minute, 15 minute, um shows where i'm i'm with various groups like perry 10k and the badass brand squad right you know and and the various groups that i'm a part of and the various hashtags so you know i i talk a lot of, uh, about different topics uh sometimes business i talk about other times i talk about men's issues with the perry dudes right you know and and so on and so forth i i'm involved with a lot and i'm, I'm proud to do everything that i do on uh, periscope Right, right. Yeah, definitely. It's a it's a fun app. Uh, I've been on there a couple times. You know, I, I usually go on there uh, to to basically support like yourself and a few other ones, Dana, comma, you know, a few of the other one, people out there. It's definitely mm -hmm. a fun app. Uh, people, uh, what Joey's talking about, Silver Star. Uh, basically, I think what it is, it's your your viewership. The the more you get higher with your viewership, it, you know, you go bronze, then silver, and then gold. So, I mean, the way Joey's going, I, I, I wouldn't doubt here before the end of this year, he's up there to a, a gold star. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Now, let's talk about uh, your book, you know, the books that you've written in, in more detail and, and, and give listeners a little more a little more story behind that. 
Sure. Yeah, no problem. Uh, you know, I, I, and one of these things that I learned about myself, you know, when I was going through this process of enlightenment was I could actually write books, you know, and I was really excited, you know, to become an author uh, of three great books. The first book that I wrote was actually my thesis from, uh, you know, masters uh, in, in, um, in college of Staten Island over here. Uh -huh. And um, it's, I, I tailored it to become a book. It's the Roman Empire versus America, uh -huh. you know, and how uh, they coincide, how they're similar, how they're different, you know, in, in the various uh, facets of an empire, you know, cause America is an empire. It's the American empire, just like the Roman empire was back in the day, you know, right. the two biggest, the two biggest, yes, uh, uh, entities that the world has ever seen, Rome and America. So I, I uh, wrote a book on that, and, and that was my thesis, which I, I'm very proud to say was an A thesis, and I, I put it out there as a book, you know, so mm -hmm. you can find that on Amazon. And then I wrote two inspirational pieces um, in Heart Mind Wisdom. If you go to Heart Mind store.com you could actually you know purchase those if you're interested but you know you go and you say heart mind wisdom book three okay heart mind wisdom book three i wrote about my chronic pain journey and i really go in depth to my chronic pain journey especially the first two years of immense chronic pain eight nine ten chronic pain uh, 365 days a year, you know, every, every second of the day, chronic pain. Right. And, and you, you, you really, honestly, you learn, you know, about the process and how it works, you know, with chronic pain, if you don't have chronic pain. And I suggest that anybody that doesn't have chronic pain to acknowledge a person who has chronic pain, you should buy, you should buy that book and you should read that story in there because, it really goes in depth to teach people what truly a chronic pain patient goes through during, you know, this this time of immense chronic pain. Um, and then the uh, Heart My Wisdom book four is actually how to turn a negative into a positive. So how I turned my pain into success. Uh, and that book didn't actually hit the shelves yet. Uh, that's actually a brand new one that I just put out there. But once that gets out there, I'll let everybody know about it. All right. All right. Sounds good. Now, um, is there anything else you, you, would, you would like to discuss? Uh... Well, yeah, I, I'm actually starting a podcasting business. Uh, okay. And, uh, yeah, I'm teaching podcasters how to be better podcasters. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, my services are not for nothing. Right. Exactly. <laughs> but, you know, you know uh, and uh, I teach uh, podcasters, how to be better and, and, and to reach their potential and, and to actually, uh, gain more following and how I gained, you know, my base of 500,000 listeners plus, you know, uh, you know, and, and, uh, how, how they could do that, you know, and how they could retain those listeners, uh, and how to retain, you know, the amount of shows that they do. I did all, almost over a thousand shows so far in six years, you know, so I'm, I'm pretty seasoned there, Joe. Yes, you are. Yes, yes. You are. Yes, you are. Yeah. I'm, I, I, I think I'm still considered a novice. Uh, I mean, I just started uh, roughly about uh, nine months ago. And mm -hmm. so, you know, I've got a little under, uh, I think I got about 50 shows in right now. So, I mean, I still got a lot, lot to learn. So, uh, any any uh, help uh, you can give, I definitely appreciate it for sure. Yeah, definitely, man, definitely, without a doubt. You know, me me and you have been good friends for a while on that Periscope app, and yeah. uh, I do appreciate your support, uh, Joe. Oh, you're you know. welcome, you're welcome, Joey. And, and you know, like like you were saying, you know, you, you meet a lot of great people out there. You know, there's yourself, like I say, Kama, uh, Dana. Um, mm -hmm. God, there's so there's so many Joanne. There, you know, there's so many uh, Melissa. There's so many yep. other other people out there, you know, you can name off Chocolate Johnny, uh, Kevin Madison, and yep. I mean, people from, if they do have the Periscope app, they, they hear the first name and they know who you're talking about. It, exactly. It, it, yeah. It's a fabulous app. I mean, when you're on this app and, and you know, all I got is, you know, like I said, you know, all I got to do is say Kevin, 
You know, you know, I'm talking about Kevin Madison. You know, if I say mm -hmm. da Dana, people know you're talking about Dana Garrison. Right. You know, you say Joey, everyone knows, hey, it's Joey Giggles. Yep. You know, yep. so it, it, it's, it's a great app. And, and like you were saying, you know, you can become, you know, kind of like an Internet internet celebrity. And it's also a, a, a good way. I mean, you, you gain followers like like you you're up to a, a silver silver. You know, you're gonna have start pretty soon. You're gonna have people, you know, saying, "Hey, you know, you need a sponsor. You know, let us, let us, let us help your show." Yeah, and, and not only that, like I said, there's a lot of great entertainers on there. You know, last night I actually met a couple of new entertainers, you know, who actually sing on on Periscope. I, I tell you, a lot of talented people out there on Periscope. Oh yeah, there's a uh, 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 there's Jessica, uh, mm -hmm. Olivia. You know, right. two, two two fabulous singers that, that, that I've come across. Mm -hmm. um, there, there's a couple of ones out there, but the the names are up there real, off, the, off the top of my head. I, I can't remember, but you, you get a lot of you get a lot of a lot of fun stuff out there. You got some comedians out there as well. Yeah, you know, they're putting their, yep. their, their 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 material out there, so it, it is a fun fun app. I tell you, yep. if, if you if you get a chance to get on there, get on there today, man, and you know, look up Joey Giggles. You know, look up myself, podcast by Mata, and, and you'll and just like. I said with those other names, you know, look those people up. Those are, are some fabulous people to get to know. Um, Periscope's kind of like a little family. You know, you, you, you get your little uh, uh, people, friends that you like. You know, you, it's like in regular life. You know, they're your friends forever. Yep. Yep. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I, I, it's it's truly an awesome app. I mean, there's so many. They have meetups where they actually, you know, meet the people that they actually see on Periscope. It's 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 amazing how they put these meetups together. And I honestly, I love the fact that you know you could see them on Periscope, but then they have these meetups where hey, you know, you can actually meet the people that you see, which right. is great. Right, like yeah. the uh, like the what is it the what's it called the summit? Summit, yes. Summit, mm -hmm. and then they have a little smaller smaller other ones that that they do as well. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think of another, 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 a few names out there off, off Periscope. Uh, uh, Janine, Janine mm -hmm. out there in London. She, 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 she's another one. Um, she's good. Yep. Yep. And, and uh, oh JS scope. What about yep. JS scope? JS scope. Yeah. yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. guys, the, 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 the names that I, 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 I see their faces, but their names are, are, you know, they always slip my mind. So, Mm-hmm. Yeah, but oh uh, well, one of the best DJs on Periscope, DJ Kumar. He's he's yeah. really awesome. He's yeah. really great. There's a lot of great DJs out there on uh, Periscope as well. If you like dance music, techno, uh, you know, trance, uh, there's a lot of uh, awesome DJs out there on Periscope. Yeah, as well. that, yeah, that's for sure. I, you know, I'll, I'll flick that uh, that that on, and it's just you know you, you just see it. You know, you, you've got. Uh, a couple people that I follow them, um, but you know they they bring up you know they they listen they're always playing their their eighties nineties music, you know that yep. old, old type of hip hop stuff. You know if you're into that, you can find that. Um, mm -hmm. you, you can find just, just just about anything. I mean it, it's it's, it's kind of like Google. You type in Google, you know, and, and it it gives you a long list of stuff. You know you just look up look up stuff on there on Periscope, and it's there for you. Oh, yeah, without a doubt, without yeah. a doubt. You know, and, and there's a lot of other live streaming mediums now that are coming out. I mean, you got YouTube Live, you got Instagram Live, you got Facebook Live. I'm telling you, they got Busker. You right. got a lot of awesome, awesome apps coming out. Um, you know, Periscope and, and Twitter uh, Live are actually uh, combining, I believe. Yeah. And, you know, and at that point, I mean, there's so many ways to get your face out there to tell your story. And that's why it's so important to get out there and tell your story. So people can resonate with you. That's so very important. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is for sure. For sure. Yeah. Like I said, I, I just, I love that app. You know, uh, I need to get on it a little more than, than I do, but you know, I I love just viewing the content. You know, like like I said, with yourself and and, and everybody else, it is is a, a fabulous fabulous app. I love it. Yep, definitely. And uh, like I said, I'm revamping my uh, podcast. Uh, I'm gonna name it something different. Gonna have a different logo. You know, I'm gonna be all over the place. I, I'm gonna have you know my separate shows here my separate political shows here right i'm gonna have a lot of health shows you know that go on and and so on in another area you know so there's gonna be a lot of awesome things coming up with the with the uh, radio station as well so i can't wait to show everybody 
you know what's going on with that and gets gain some more support for that. So. All right, all right, that, that's definitely something to look forward to. And, and one thing I've I've learned in, in the small amount of time that I've been on, you know, and, and now I've got I got a couple haters, you know, that that you know say whatever, whatever, and that's fine. Um, yeah. One person who who kind of uh, guided me along when I started first starting doing this. And he said, you know, the minute you get haters, you're doing something right. Yeah, that's right. That's you know, right. You know, and, yep. and, and I know you got, you know, you got your haters out there. Um, and it's, it's this thing, you know, you, haters are your best PR. Yeah. Because, because you're always in their mouth. They're always yak, yak, yak. They're, give, they're giving you free, free PR. Yep. The, the hence thing is, yeah, you got to put up with their BS. But the nice thing about the, the Periscope app is if you do get someone on there who's kind of annoying, you can either put yes. up with it or you just push that, that block button. That's it, man. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and that, I, 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 I tend to hit that button a lot uh, you know, on, on Periscope. Oh, you know, but yeah, when, when it comes down to it, um, these are people that – you know, unfortunately, they feel they can't be as good as the person that's broadcasting. But guess what? Anybody could be as good or better than some of the broadcasters on Periscope if they just put their mind to it. But they'd rather hate on the broadcaster rather than doing their own thing and putting their story out there on Periscope, uh, you know. And, and when it comes down to it, there's a lot of jealousy out there. You know, people are jealous. Oh, this guy's more talented than me. That's not true. That's not true. If you actually put your mind to it, anybody could be talented. Anybody could be talented. So you just got to put your talent out there, whatever it is. You right. got to put your talent out there and, you know, make sure that it, people see it and people resonate with it and, and you know, and, and people support it. You right, know. right, yeah. right. Yeah, you know, it, it's I, I, when I first started doing this, I I, just, I started out, um, I was doing photography for like 15, 16 years. Mm -hmm. But in my area where I live, I mean, it just, the you had every kid who took a high school college class or high school class, high school photography class, thought they mm -hmm. were thought they were a photographer. Mm -hmm. you know, their, their, their parents go out, buy them a $2,500 camera, and all of a sudden now, the my area where I'm at is just saturated with, with, with photographers doing it just to do it for, and doing it for nothing. So it kind of yeah. like cutthroats the, the, the area where I'm at. So and I got kind of flustered with it. You know, I just said, you know what the heck with it. Uh, my two kids are in college. Uh, when they first started out, they were going to um, be in communications majors. Mm -hmm. And I was, mm -hmm. like, I was thinking, OK, well, maybe if I do like a some type of radio or podcast show, I can help them out with, 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 with their, you know, skills. Mm -hmm. And so I started this up, started getting it going. And lo and behold, they th both changed their majors. <laughs> you know, they both changed their majors. They both that. changed their majors. And it was just like, okay, what do I do with this now? And, and so <laughs> I, I just said, okay, well, let, let, let's go ahead and just, just get this going and see where it goes. And I mean, so far I, I think I'm doing okay. I mean, I'm not, I'm not the best one out there, but you know, I'm out here working and, and, and trying to get my content out there. And, and so far things are going good. Yeah. And, and you are doing a great job. You are doing a great job, you know? And, and, and like I always say, I mean, you, you can develop the skills, you know, through learning the skills, you can also learn from other podcasters. I mean, and, and so on and so forth. And, uh, and then you develop your own skills through learning from the podcasters, you know, right. or learning from your own research or whatever. But, you know, at that point, you know, uh, honestly, anybody could be a podcaster. Oh, anybody yeah. could be a podcaster like anybody could be a photographer, yeah. you know, if they want to. Yeah. But if you want to make money doing it is the question, right. you know, and, and, you know, you got to go to that next level to say, oh, if I want to make money doing it, how do I do it? You know, and right. so on and so forth. And, uh you know, I'm I'm finally moving to the next level. You know, right. uh, where I I wanted to build my base. I built a, a heavy base. You know, of of five hundred thousand listeners. So now it's time to, uh, you know, try to monetize what I've done. There you you go. know, what monetize what I put together. You know, it's only a hobby. You know, if you if you're not getting paid for it. You know, and a lot of these, you know, kids in your area who are 
doing the photography, are they getting paid for it? You know, or is it just a hobby for them? You know, so at that point, you know, it sometimes ruins, you know, the people that are actually getting paid, you know, for the actual, uh, you know, photography, you know, when these people with the hobbies come into play, right. you know, you know what I'm saying? So oh, yeah. I, I don't know if you, if, if that's your case where you had to find something else because, you know, you were getting paid for it and, and, and then you were having a hard time finding, you know, I guess people to, to, you know, take photos of, I, right. I, I don't know how that worked out for you, but uh, obviously you found something that you truly love in podcasting. So continue doing that. Oh yeah. You know? I'm, de- I'm definitely gonna do that. You know, I still do the, the photography every now and then, you know, uh, with, with with people in the area, if, if if they know me real well, you know, if 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 they have some type of event that they want, you know, they know they can give me a call, you know, and I'll I'll, I'll be happy to do it. But as far as me out there trying to bust my butt to to try to go and look for for photos, nah, I, I'm I'm done with that. <laughs> but you get you get paid for your photo shoots. Yes, though. yes, I do. Right. Yes, yeah, I do. Right, right. So what I what I was saying was, you know, these people that use photography as hobby are actually taking away from the people that actually get paid for it. Right. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. And it's, it's like that with any industry, you know, yeah. I mean, it, and it, 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 whether they're, they're getting paid or, or they're figuring out a way to undercut you and, and mm-hmm. charge a cheaper price, you know, it, yeah. it, it's, it's the same thing, you know, mm-hmm. and we would me with my photography. I mean, I, I didn't go to school for it. I just I, I I learned by trial and error, mm-hmm. and so when when people ask me because they look, oh wow where, where, your, your photos look fabulous where did you go to school, and I've always told them I, mean, I went to the University of Trial and Error, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and that's just pretty much what it was and and right. I, and and the same with my podcasting here, you know mm-hmm. I'm I'm just learning as I go trial and error and eventually hopefully uh you know I'll, I'll, hopefully I'll be as good as you someday. <laughs> Well, hey, I mean, like, you know, keep striving and you will, you yeah. know, keep striving for it and you will, you know, and, and that's the main thing that people need to know out there is you can't stop. You got to keep going. You know, I mean, you, you might hit a bump in the road. You might have a show where you have technical difficulties. Oh, woes me. You know, but I, how many technical d- difficulties did I have with a lot of my shows? And I'm still doing podcasting. Exactly. You know, so when when it comes down to it, you need to just keep going at it. Keep doing what you're doing and don't stop. If you love it, keep doing it, you know. And then eventually, like I said, you build a big base. And then at that point, you say, hey, it's time to monetize this now. I got to find sponsors. You know, I got to, you know, I got to get, you know, like small businesses or you know, people or entrepreneurs that are interested in marketing and promotion so I can promote their shows or I can promote their websites, you know, and, and and at that point you figure out, you know, where, where you stand in the spectrum. You know, a lot of people go out and they try to get, you know, the big corporations. A lot of people go out and try to get the entrepreneurs and say, Hey, do you need marketing? But you're going to find most of the people who want the marketing and promotions, you know, is in the area of small business, you know, or startup business, you know? Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, And also, um, you know, like I said, I've been watching shows and whatnot. I also learned is like, depending on what your show topic is, um, if you have different topics, you can also use that as an advantage to go out and get different type of sponsors. Well, right. You know, exactly. You, you know, you you, yeah. you you have an entrepreneur show like we're doing today. You can you can go out and and, and, and monetize. Try to monetize on that. Uh, you're doing yeah. a, a one on sports. You know, like W. I could did one on WWE from from the pay per view last night. You know, and uh-huh. and you can you know look at you know people who are into that and, and as mo- for monet- monetization and other type of yes. sports and just other type of areas. And if if you have that type of stuff, then you have a chance to uh, to monetize in different areas. Exactly. Exactly. You know, and that's why I like to have a variety show. I like to have, you know, all different types of people on my show because that brings all different types of people into my show. You know, and I, my show was like for all walks of life. 
Right. You know, I, I mean, I got all kinds of people coming into my show, you know, uh, you know, and it's it, it's great. It's awesome. I got authors coming on. I had an actor on. I had, uh, I don't know if you know, uh, uh, Joe, uh, do you know Cool and the Gang? Yeah, cool. yeah. Yeah. yeah, I had uh, Sir Earl Toon on my show, uh, and uh, we actually had a really, really, really awesome show with him, where we actually uh, are collaborating on you know various projects together now because of that show. All you right. know, so you can actually gain uh, collaborators. You can actually gain people that you could work with through the radio shows as well. Oh yeah, yeah, for definitely for sure, definitely for yeah. sure. Yeah, that was a really awesome show, Joe. That was a really awesome show. That one with uh, Sir Earl Toon. Uh-huh. Really, really, really awesome show. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to check that out. Um, after the show, we'll send me a send me a link. You know, DM me the link, and I'll, I'll definitely check that out. Yeah, he's out there by you. He's out there in in the West Coast. Uh, he was in the West Coast. Sorry, uh, he's now I think in Texas. But um, he has a star on the Walk of Fame. Cool and the Gang has a star on the Walk of Fame. Yeah, so. yeah, they do definitely. Yeah, I, I remember them growing up through high school. Love, yep. their, love their music. Love their music. Mm-hmm. Okay, now is there um, where can the uh, listeners and your fans find you on social media? Okay, yeah, social media. Websites are being under construction right now because we're revamping the websites and stuff like that now. So I'm not going to give you website addresses because you'll just see under construction right right now. Right. But I will give you where you can find me on uh, social media, facebook.com slash joseph.aquilino. I also have a page on Facebook, Joseph Aquilino. You can check me out there. Uh, Twitter at twitter.com slash Joey Giggles, YouTube at youtube.com slash Joey Giggles. And uh, you can find me on almost every social media medium out there. So if you just type in Joseph Aquilino, my face will come up and you're more than welcome to follow me. Uh, You're more than welcome to friend me and so on and so forth. So thank you very much, man. I appreciate the time, and I appreciate this great show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming on, Joey, man. I do appreciate it. And uh, you've always got an open invitation, man, to come out, come back, and, and, you know, anytime you want. Okay, awesome. I do appreciate you once again, and uh, look forward to being on your show again soon uh, with updates on what I'm doing. Okay, sounds good, for sure. Okay, yeah, well, we'll, okay, well, we'll talk to you soon. Okay, thanks, Joe. All right, thank you. Bye now. Bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Joey Giggles. He has a few nonprofits. Um, he's been living with chronic pain. Uh, he has the JGF Foundation. So uh, you definitely want to make sure to, to follow him on those uh, that information he gave out earlier on where to find him on Facebook and other social media sites. Uh, I want to thank you guys for listening. You guys have, uh, uh, like I said, a number of, of, of different areas that, you know you can check out at uh, different shows, and you, you come back and, and you support me, man. So I do appreciate that. I really, really do. Uh, you can find us on – you'll find this show as well as all our other ones. You'll find it on YouTube. Just go into search engine, type in the podcast by Mata, Mata spelled M-A-T-A. Uh, we'll pop up and you know support this show, support Joey, and uh, check out our other shows. And and hopefully you'll like some of that, that content out there too. So and thank you guys for listening. Hey man, we'll see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>